So, the Dumb Blonde Darwin Award for 2009 should go to this woman. Here it looks like a perfectly fine 2006 Toyota Corolla, but it don't run. She was in a hurry when she went to the gas station to fill up, and somehow she managed to fill it up with diesel. Ugh. So now I gotta figure out a way to pump it all out and put it in those containers. Of course she was only able to drive just a couple blocks before the stuff got into the engine and wouldn't ignite. And now of course there's no hope in hell. So what I gotta do now is find the wires going to the fuel pump and just hook a battery charger up to them and run them independently so that the fuel pump just runs all the time without the car running and then disconnect the hoses under the hood and pump them into those containers. Then of course the combustion chamber is going to be all filled up with the uh, diesel and so the fuel rail and all that stuff so I have to take that apart and blow the fuel rail out and then when it does start it's going to be smoky. Nice motor. Too bad. So remove a couple screws. Now we have access to the fuel rail which is right here. And this is not the self-purging one that has an input line and a return line. This one only has an input line. So this is the input line. Squeeze these two yellow buttons. And the fuel line releases. Now I just have to add an extension hose onto there and stick it in one of those red gas cans. And now find the fuel pump. There we go. All set. So, back seat's out, just had to pry on it a little. There's your fuel tank sender unit with fuel pump. Got my test meter, there's four wires, a couple of those will be for the sender. You don't want to hook 12 volts to that and burn it out. So I've got to turn the key on and see which two wires go 12 volts for a couple seconds. And those are the ones that I run the, 20, I mean the 12 volts to. Did manage to get a few dirty handprints on that nice clean new seat. See my gloves are supposed to be white, but they're not. But, you know, what they don't know won't hurt them. Unless they're watching YouTube, of course. <laughs> Anyways, I've got a trick to fix that, no problem. Well, now let's turn the key. 10.52, yeah, I found the right two. Got the battery charger all hooked up now. And she's running. I just stuck two screwdrivers in each little pin to make a connection and figured out which one was positive and negative by trial and error. It doesn't hurt anything if you hook it up wrong. Now let's go check the other end. Yeah, we definitely got some flowage. Well, there's a thirsty tractor can lap all that stuff up, no problem. So if you've ever polluted the interior of someone's new car while working on it, like I just did, my advice is to keep your mouth shut and don't let them know. But anyways, this is how you clean it up. Just some paper towel and lacquer thinner. It even gives it that new car smell. Right, kitty? One dirty rag, and one seat as good as new. What they don't know will never hurt them, that's for sure. Well, your loss, my gain. <laughs> okay, we're all done pumping it now. Just got to plug the original power plug back in. Now got to add some real gasoline, and turn the pump back on, and flush the system through, then connect the lines under the hood, hold the gas pedal halfway down, and crank her and see if she's going to start. So, now let's try to start it. Let's see what happens. Probably lots of smoke.
Sweet. That worked. Definitely looks like it's got a bad head gasket, but I'm sure that's not the problem. It smells weird. Old smoky. Well, there you go, lady. Thanks for the fill up. Well, now for a test drive. Sweet, it's got a tack. 63,000 kilometers. CD, power door locks, and crank and wank -ems. Anyways, and automatic blah. Man, it's telling me I don't have my seatbelt on. Oh well. Just like a woman, always complaining about something. Lots of snow here today. January 18th. Nothing but spinning on the tires. Made her back. Another day, another dollar. <laughs>